Hello, good day! Ito na naman po, pag-usapan naman natin, isa siguro to sa mga requested topics din, patungkol naman to sa, sabi nila, batas naman patungkol sa labor law rights. Okay, mga karapatan ng mga manggagawa, mga empleyado. So, actually, if you'll ask, uh, madaming um, karapatan ang mga empleyado under the labor code, um, uh, pero siguro for now, we will focus on sino ba yung mga tina the types of employment or sino ba yung mga regular employees at paano mo ba masasabi na ikaw ay isang regular employee. So, usually po when you apply, um, kadalasan dumadaan po kayo doon sa tinatawag na probationary period. So, the probationary period is, um, ano po yan, it will run for 6 months and then supposedly after the 6th month, if, um, they will uh, if they will still um, ask you to continue um, with your employment or um, the results of the probationary status um, was satisfactory for them or basta ano na lang tuloy tuloy lang kayo nakapagtrabaho beyond the six months then um, that's a time that you can say na you were regularized kaya na from probationary status may regularize kayo so after six months. So, iba naman for others, meron naman silang tinatawag na parang mga seasonal or temporary employment um, yung hindi siya talaga necessary or desirable dun sa negosyo. Ito yung siguro if um, meron uh, dun sa establishment, may construction project or may um, may paint uh, job uh, project. Uh, so, yung mga kontrata lang po yan, maiikling period. So, it does not really create the employer-employee relationship. Unless, of course, sabi nga niya, um, pwedeng makonvert siya into um, a regular employment if lumagpas sa isang taon at you're still employed doing that. So, it would show badges of parang necessary and desirable yung ginagawa for the company. But of course, you have to take into consideration po, ha? baka naman kasi, yun nga, like what I said, the construction project dun sa site, syempre yan po, there's always a period for that, the construction period, sometimes a uh, fixed period po yan, uh, subject to a few delays. Um, pero those are understood to be, um, uh, usually sa mga ganun po, more of a project employee, tawag doon. Eh. You are there, uh, because of a certain specific project with, of which you know from the start kung kailan nag-start, kailan mag end or for what purpose. So, alam mong yun lang yun. So, after the project, tapos na din po. Yung nga po, the others naman, seasonal. Uh, yung iba, like for example, sa farming, merong uh, season for harvesting. So, sa harvesting season, do ah, doon lang sila magkukuha ng mga mga harvest parang ganoon so seasonal po siya uh, kaiba siya do sa uh, tinatawag na regular employment meron din naman po tayong mga tinatawag na independent um, contractors usually these are the service oriented contractors na independent ibig sabihin um, they are not under um, they are, they are not employees of the company or the employer because uh, they are doing so under their own sole uh, discretion. Kumbaga, discarte nila yon, and they were hired to do that certain type of service. That's why you're an independent service contractor. So, no creation of an employer-employee relationship. At the same time, um, you are not subjected to the usual controls ng employer sa isang employee. Mostly, um, they're just after the result of what you do since you're an independent service contractor. Meron din po yung nga, yung mga um, uh, yung mga parang employees na uh, results based sila. So, ibig sabihin, regardless um, let's say, parang oh, you can you can work from your home and then we don't care how you do it how many you do it, pero if the result of your trabaho is this, we will pay you this for the, for the result of uh, the, the finished product or the finished service. So, so, those are the different kinds, the usual different kinds, but of course, um, uh, it would really depend on the nature of what you do. First, you have to check if it's necessary or desirable to the employer. Second, yung haba na po ng tinakbo ng iyong employment. And then, uh, third, you also have to, to know um, and to... Um, 
accept din kasi for others parang they tend to forget na so since the start they were there for a specific project lang or for a, a fixed period employment so parang uh, doon, doon papasok but of course, yun nga, you check the totality of everything hindi dahil lumagpas ka na ng ganitong period irregular ka na agad you have to check na the totality of everything but there are rules for this and um, if you think that you should be regularized um, and you believe that and um, maybe it's good to consult na rin a lawyer for that so that the lawyer will be able to um, guide you or give you an advice if indeed you are already eligible to become a regular employee. Kasi alam nyo po pag regular employee, um, doon papasok na yung mga automatic na mga benefits under the labor code. So it's very important to know and to ask uh, about your status of employment so that you'll also know what to expect during the time of your employment or the service contract time that you were hired so that um, maayos po na uh, if it, for example if natapos na yung employment or yung service na provided maayos kayong maghihiwalay ng employer at wala ng mga problems so it's important sa start pa lang you ask these things and the employer's side, you have to be very clear then to sa mga employee or service contractors that you will get. Kung ano ba yung type of service that you actually need and for them and what you will actually be giving them. So that they'll also know and check if tama ba yun before they go through or push through with the employment. Ayun po, sana matul natulungan ko po ulit kayo. Again, um... Itong mga binabanggit ko sa inyo, para siyang lecture eh. It's not really meant to answer yung question nyo kung regular employee ba kayo or not. Kasi nga, ang sabi ko, you check the totality rin of the circumstances before you could really say that you should be regularized. So, with this information that I have given you, and of course, alam ko rin naman, nagre-research, madami po sa inyo nagtatanong, nagre-research din on your own, then I think you'll have an idea at least so that when you ask, you know um, the basis of your questions uh, when it comes to the status of your employment. And yun nga, if, if the time comes that you feel like you need um, a more specific answer, that's a time that you should consult your lawyer, of a lawyer of your choice in your area. Para yun nga, mabigyan niya talaga kayo ng specific advice for your specific circumstance. Again, this is Attorney Makalino. Have a nice day.